Hello and welcome Hoops fans. The Rookie of the Year race in the WNBA is heating up faster than Venus. We've got a serious battle on our hands, folks. These rookies aren't just close. They're neck and neck, elbow to elbow, and bucket for bucket. But here's where it gets juicy. Our top contenders, oh, they go way back. We're talking about college rivalry. And guess what? That fire didn't fizzle out when they hit the big leagues. Not at all. It's burning brighter than ever. Now, every time these rookies step on the court, fans are glued to their seats, stats apps in hand, trying to figure out who's got the edge. So as a fan, who's your money on? The sharpshooter with handles smoother than butter? Or the paint beast who's pulling down double doubles on a nightly basis? The two names on everyone's lips right now are Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. These ladies are battling it out for Rookie of the Year. And let me tell you, it's getting intense. First up, we've got Caitlin Clark. Remember when the Indiana Fever snatched her as the number one pick? Well, she's proving why she was worth every bit of that hype. When Caitlin Clark first stepped onto the court for the Indiana Fever this season, she didn't just bring her game, she brought a revolution. The WNBA's newest sensation has turned the Hoosier State into basketball's hottest destination. And trust me, it's not just because of the summer heat. She's been lighting up scoreboards faster than a July 4th fireworks display, averaging close to 17 points on 40% from the field, 5.8 rebounds, 1.5 steals, and is first in the league with 8.2 assists per game. In a game against the Dallas Wings, Caitlin Clark set the WNBA league record with 19 assists. One moment she's weaving through defenders like AI, the next she's pulling up from downtown Indy. Defenders are left with no choice. Give her space and watch her sink threes or play her tight and risk getting burned off the dribble. She has already made history and is not looking like she's slowing down anytime soon. She owned May, scooping up Rookie of the Month. She's sitting at the top of the rookie charts in points, assists, and even minutes played. The girl's got game, but here's the kicker. She joined an elite club. Only three players in WNBA history have hit 100 plus points, 30 plus rebounds, and 30 plus assists in their first 10 games. The other two, Candace Parker and Sabrina Unescu. On July 6, 2024, the basketball world witnessed a seismic shift as Clark got her name into the history books. In a breathtaking display of skill and versatility, she became the first rookie in WNBA history to record a triple-double leading her Indiana Fever to a stunning 83, 78 victory over the league-leading New York Liberty. The air was electric at Gainbridge Fieldhouse as Clark orchestrated a masterclass in all-around basketball. With the grace of a seasoned veteran and the hunger of a rookie with something to prove, she weaved through defenders, sank shots from awkward angles, and commanded the court. When the final buzzer sounded, her stat line read 19 points, 13 assists, and 12 rebounds. But this was something that was in the realm of attaining for the Iowa native. Just two games prior, she flirted with history, falling a single rebound short of a triple-double in a win against the Phoenix Mercury. It was clear that Caitlin wasn't just living up to the hype, she was surpassing it. Her synergy with all-star teammate Aaliyah Boston in pick-and-roll situations has been particularly effective with the duo's growing chemistry elevating the team's offensive production. As the fourth quarter of the game wound down and hung in the balance, all eyes were on Caitlin. With each possession, the tension in the arena ratcheted up a notch. Then, with just minutes left on the clock, she finally snatched her 10th rebound, sending the crowd into a frenzy. Again penetrating, Thornton with a three on the way, and the first! The triple-double was complete, and history was made. But she wasn't done yet. With the Liberty threatening a comeback, she took control, draining clutch shots and making key defensive stops. The victory was particularly sweet for the Fever, who had suffered nine consecutive losses to the Liberty. So, Clark's heroics not only broke that streak, but also served notice to the rest of the league. The Fever, with their new superstar, were a force to be reckoned with. As the 2024 WNBA season unfolds, one thing is certain, 
all eyes will remain on this Rookie of the Year showdown. Despite facing heightened defensive pressure, with opponents frequently resorting to double teams to limit her influence, Caitlin Clark has continued to adapt and thrive. Her continued growth and development, coupled with her exceptional skills, suggests that she is on track to become a perennial all-star and potentially a future MVP candidate in the WNBA. On the other side of this intense Rookie of the Year battle is Angel Reese, the seventh overall pick by the Chicago Sky. Reese has been a force to be reckoned with, particularly on the glass, where she has been a dominant presence all season long. Reese's historic run began on June 16, 2024, and her dominance on the court has continued, recording a double-double in every game since that very day. One thing the Bayou Barbie has shown all season is that she's a fearless competitor who's not afraid to attack the basket and take big shots in big games against big names. And with the game on the line, she doesn't back down from competition. When players have tried to get physical with Angel, she's gotten to the free throw line, shooting at an over 75% free throw accuracy. If Reese's aggression is impressive, her rebounding is nothing short of spectacular. Averaging a league's best 12 rebounds per game, she's not just grabbing boards, she's treating the court like her personal playground. With a combination of size, strength, and impeccable timing, she's outleaping and out-hustling veterans with twice her experience. But she isn't content with just scoring and rebounding. Oh no, this rookie star wants it all. Averaging 1.5 steals and 0.4 blocks per game while altering several other shots, she's showcasing a well-rounded game. In a Chicago Sky game against the Seattle Storm, Angel finished with 17 points, 14 rebounds, and four steals, cementing her place in the WNBA's history books. The former LSU standout set a new league record by recording 13 consecutive double-doubles, surpassing the previous mark held by Candace Parker, and has only proceeded to push it to 15, making it incredibly difficult for any other player to ever come close to it anytime soon. In addition to her record-setting double-double streak, Angel Reese also was recently named to the 2024 WNBA All-Star team, further solidifying her status as one of the league's rising stars. Her fierce competitiveness and on-court demeanor have also added an intriguing narrative to the rookie race. In an 88-87 win against the Indiana Fever and Caitlin, Angel put on a clinic. She completed the game with 25 points and 16 rebounds, going 8 for 12 from the field leading the Sky to their first victory of the season against the Fever. During this game, following a post-up play from Fever forward Nalissa Smith, after which she made an obvious too small gesture, taunting the former LSU star. This not only prompted a response from Reese on the other side with an and one play, followed by a bit of trash talking. Squeeze it out to Allen. Allen's mid-range short. Reese another rebound. Reese flips it in. Puts the foul. A chance to tie it at the line for Angel Reese. To secure the offensive board. Smith's boxing out. Boom. Just reads where the ball is going and then finishes it off the backboard. What a game Angel Reese has had here today. For Angel Reese. A career high for Reese and Alyssa Smith. But the rookie star displayed complete dominance for the remaining minutes of the game, making a very strong case for Rookie of Year. This performance was received with a standing ovation from the fans in attendance, as well as a hug from WNBA legend Cheryl Swoops. So, considering that Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese have been fierce competitors since their college days, when Reese's LSU team defeated Clark's Iowa squad in the 2023 NCAA championship game, and that the rivalry has carried over to the professional level, with both players vying for the prestigious Rookie of the Year award. As the 2024 WNBA season progresses, the battle between the two stars is sure to continue to captivate fans and analysts alike. Their continued high-level play and the ongoing narrative of the rivalry have made them two of the most exciting young talents in the league. As the WNBA season has now approached the midway point, the battle for this award 
has become the central storyline. Both players have been named to the 2024 WNBA All-Star team, a testament to their immediate impact on the league. Both players have also been named Rookie of the Month, Clark for May and Reese for June. With Clark's historic triple-double and overall playmaking ability garnering significant attention, and Reese's consistent dominance on the glass and efficient scoring. The race for this prestigious award remains a tight one, and both players are making strong cases for the honor. It's still too early to decide who should win. There's even been suggestions of a co-rookie of the year in order to not slight either side, so this is promising to be a good one. Ultimately, the decision will come down to their individual and team performances during the second half of the season, and their overall impact on their respective teams' success. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments who you think should win Rookie of the Year, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos if you enjoyed. Peace out.